So this is another problem that you should be excited to see whenever you see it because it's a problem that will enable you to potentially save time and not even have to use your, your calculator to figure things out if you know your principles. All right, so a company, uh, Midland Brands, issues a three-year bond dated January 1st, 2015 with a face value of $5 million. All right, so the face value of this is $5 million, all right? And it's issued on January 2015. The market interest rate on bonds of a comparable risk is 3%. If the bonds pay 2.5% annually on at the end of the year, the bonds pay uh, bonds payable when issued are most likely reported as closest to, this is the key thing. They're trying to see if you understand bonds issued at premium, discount, or par, what the outcome's gonna be, okay? So we have a bond here that is paying 2.5%, but really the market demands a 3% rate. So uh, you're paying less than what the market requires based on who the company is, the risk with the company and the risk in the situation. So as a result, if we look at the answers, we can see that 5 million, this is what would be issued if it was issued at par. And par is when the market rate equals the implicit rate inside of the uh, inside of the bond, the bond uh, coupon payment rate. And that's not what's happening. The bond's paying less than what the market is. So we know it's not gonna be issued at par, so we can eliminate this right here. Right here, C, this means that par value, that people are paying more for the bond. Well, why would you pay more for something that was paying you less than alternative things that, that you could buy? You could buy other bonds that are gonna pay 3% and this is selling for two point, This is selling for 2.5. Why would you buy it? You wouldn't, that's the point. So this is a bond issued at a premium and we know it's not issued at a premium. We know what the answer is A and it's best to just know this and move on. Don't waste your time with the calculator. You're gonna be so tempted to say, oh, but I just wanna see, I just wanna feel that I'm so right on this problem. Don't, don't waste your time with it. Just do, just know this and move on. Save your time for something else. For the point of knowing how, how this works in the calculator, um, uh, we're gonna put this in uh, the calculator so that we can, we can see that we know how the calculator is used, all right? So we are gonna clear our time value, clear work. Let's check that we're at the beginning of period. We're at the end of period. Good. Second quit. So future value. Future value is $5 million. That's how much is going to get paid on these bonds. All right. $5 million is the future value. All right. We're going to take that $5 million also, and we're going to times that by 0 0.025. That is the coupon rate. All right. This is the bond rate. So that's the payment on the bonds. So the payment is... 125,000, that's what we put into the payment, the 0.25, it's underneath this calculator here, so I'll show you where I got it, I just remembered it. Right here, it's under the calculator, so uh, pay 2.5% annually, all right? Uh, the number of payments, this is a three-year bond, so N equals three, it pays annually, so we're good there. And then payments per year, we'll go second, payments per year, it's equal to one, that's good. Once we have that payment in, we have to put the market rate of interest. The market rate of interest is three interest rate per year. The number of years is three year bonds. So three equals the number of years. And then we have to figure out what the payments per year, P over Y is. So we do P over Y and we see it's equal to one. That's great. Now we're ready to say compute present value. And you'll see it's issued at a discount, just as we'd expect issued at a discount, uh, 4,929,284, 4,929,285, you know, a little rounding difference there, and that's perfect. But we don't want to do it this way. We want to do it the fast way. So don't do the calculator for these problems. Throw that away and just understand the idea of principle, uh, uh, the, the, the principle when it's issued, premium, par, or discount.